what's up goodies welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen how to cook and today we're making jamaican curry goat in the kitchen fast easy and simple make sure you subscribe goodie if you have not and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any of these upload and for all i'm returning goodie on a don't know so on a girl love no. on a ready for cook come on let's cook look what prayer can do hypocrite and bad mind must flow the same mouth what tear for you how the same one them would turn round and boo yeah. prayer me i use and win prayer me i use and win all right goody let's cook some curry goat today in the kitchen fast easy and simple all right so we have our goat meat here and our goat meat has already been washed nice and clean with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. Now, as far as the size that I chose here, I chose to cut them up pretty much like this. Of course, you could cut it bigger if you'd like, or you could cut it smaller. Um, I did take off a lot of the fat. Didn't remove all of it because some of that fat has a lot of flavor in it, so I did keep some of it on, okay? Now, we're going to season up this goat meat, right? So this is my seasons of choice right here to get started, of course. Now, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and black pepper, a teaspoon of onion and garlic powder. We have some cloves here, okay? I'm going to add just a tad bit, maybe a half teaspoon of clove, or if you have powdered clove, you could use that. I'm also going to add some pimento seeds or pimento berries, and I will call it, right? Now, I'm also going to add some seasonings to give it flavor. So we're going to add some all-purpose seasoning and we're going to add some meat seasoning. I have about a teaspoon of each. And then we're going to start it off with about a teaspoon of curry powder. Just to start it off, to season it up. And then I have about a tablespoon of parsley flakes, dried parsley flakes here. That is totally optional, but we're going to add that to it anyway, right? Now here I have some chopped garlic. If you don't want to go this chopped garlic, use garlic cloves. You could maybe use my four of them, chop it up and throw it in at it. And then I have about a teaspoon of um, cornstarch here, okay? Don't use flour, cornstarch, all right? Then you'll see why. Now to cling the seasons on, because we're gonna let this marinate for a little bit, I'm going to add some oil here. I have sesame seed oil here. You could use any kind of oil. And of course, honey, you know how I feel about my apple cider vinegar or my white vinegar or any kind of vinegar. So we're going to add that to the goat meat. So let's get that started and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, goody. So you're going to go ahead and pour in all your seasonings on top of your meat. And then up next, what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and add that teaspoon of cornstarch to the goat meat. And then you want to go in and add your fresh garlic. And again, you could always substitute what I'm using here for garlic cloves. Give it a little bit of oil. I'm using sesame seed oil, about a tablespoon of that oil. And I'd say maybe about a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar. And based on how much meat you're cooking, you may want to add more. I'm cooking about two and a half pounds of goat meat. Now what I'm doing here, I'm just going, going and seasoning my meat really well. Just let them seasons go right through the meat, through and through the meat. I'm going to allow this meat to sit for about an hour. You know I made a 30 minute girl, but I have time on my hands today. So we're going to go ahead and have it sit for about 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes to an hour. Let's just say that, okay? I'm covering it with some plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature. Now, if you're seasoning your meat from overnight and you put it in your fridge, right? Because some of it does feel like if you season it from 10 years ago, it's going to taste better. Just go ahead and um, put it on room temperature for about a good half an hour before you start to cook it, okay? Now, when you get ready to cook it, you want to go and burn your curry first. So in a pot, a pot, a pot, a pot, you're going to add some um, of the curry season here. I'm using the jerk season here. Um, a tablespoon of the curry powder. And of course, you could use any kind of curry powder that you can tolerate. Some people cannot tolerate curry powder. You want to add some ginger to it. And I'm going to show you just how. 
to calm the stomach, of course. Now don't burn your curry, just give it about 30 seconds. That's all you need here with your fire at a medium heat once you're doing this method because you will burn the curry if you're not careful. Then you go and add your goat meat into your curry powder right here, okay? And again, my fire is still at a medium heat here. Now I'm just having the curry soak into the meat even though I did add curry on the meat when I seasoned it. I'm still going to add the curry, burn the curry here as well. So I'm just doing this method here, I'll say for about three minutes to get the flavors saturated before I move on to doing anything else with my goat meat. Next, you want to add your onions. I'm using a medium onion here, chopped very big. Then I'm adding the ginger for calm down the stomach and plus get the meat flavor. And then I'm adding two leaves, two bay leaves to the recipe, okay? Then I'm going to add my water here. I'm using two cups of water um, and the water is hot. Make sure so you pour hot water on your meat because if you pour cold water on it, it's going to have this meat taking forever to cook. So. Be sure you warm up your water before you put it on here and this is where the cooking process starts. My fire is turned up to a medium heat because we don't want this thing to burn. Now, while that is cooking, I'm getting my vegetables prepped. So what I have here is potatoes, I have some bell pepper, onion, of course more onion the better, some tomato, scallion and thyme. Now the thyme that I'm using is the dry thyme here. This um j c and s brand it's pretty good i'm out of fresh thyme, but this one save the day so that's what we're using here and a scotch bonnet pepper to the recipe and that is how we prep our veggies okay on period now after everything is all done that is what it looks like all right nice and mellow and ready for season okay um and again, our fire is still here at a medium heat. Just make sure that your meat is cooked nice and tender and it is filled with all that good flavor, okay? Just like I'm doing here, y'all. Perfect. Now, what you definitely want to do here is remove the leaves, the bay leaves, okay? You're going to re remove those leaves out of your pot. Take them out because they have already done what they need to do. We don't need them anymore. We're going to dispose of those. Then you want to go in and add your veggies, your potato, your onion, your scallion, your thyme, and all that other good jazz, right? Go ahead and add it all on your meat here. Give it a nice little mix. Now, for sure you want to taste this, right? Go ahead and taste it up and make sure say, it has the right amount of flavor for your taste buds, okay? So give it a nice little taste to see um, how far you're going on as far as the flavor is concerned. Now, as far as my flavor is, I love combo season. Ultra rest combo season in my kitchen every time straight, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of that good old fashioned ultra rest combo season on my curry goat, yeah? Um, and this is how it looks like for some of you you might not see it in your store It is definitely on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon All right, so we're giving it a good nice little mix here and of course you want to be sure that Your potatoes have enough liquid for cook and you want to have some gravy to right? So I did go back in and add a cup and a half of water hot water to the recipe no cold water here Okay and then give that a nice little mix again, and your fire is still at a medium heat. All right, goody? After you do that, you go ahead and you cover it up, and you allow it to sin simmer. Now, what we have in with this today is some oats and caramel dumpling with some white yam and some green banana. That is what we are going to be having with this today on the plate, honey. So when that is all done and everything simmer and look proper and nice, this is what you have here. The most taste delicious, bestest, authentic, Jamaican authentic curry goat recipe in your kitchen every time straight. If you follow this, these steps, 
carefully, especially for beginners, this is the way to go. Flavor at its finest. Perfect with some white rice, perfect with some rice and peas, red peas, gungo peas, cow peas, black peas, pink peas, any kind of peas, rice and peas, all right, the right there. You have to give this one a try. Trust me, let me tell you, see we talk about good, all right, that's all right, you have to give this one a try. You're going to love it, okay? Thank me later, boo. Thank me later, okay? Um, the potatoes are nice and tender, cooked right through and through, and you don't want to overcook your potatoes to the point where you don't see the potatoes in the goat meat, all right? You want to be able to see those potatoes. So just be sure that you're keeping an eye on this. And that is what it looks like right there. We're going to go ahead and serve this up. I want you guys to see the entire process, right? It's all about the process. So I had to show you what, you, what it looks like on the plate, of course. And my pepper never popped, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pour that in. Look at that gravy. Oh, oh my goodness. It's off the chain, all right? So that is what it is. Yes, boo. Some nice dumpling, white yam, and green banana with some nice curry goat in the kitchen. Just be sure that you're spreading this good love with your friends, with your family, with your neighbor, with a girl up the street, with a man down the road. Tell them we're going over here, goody. Bring them come and send them come. I'm waiting. I want to get done doing all of that. Don't forget to thumbs up the videos on your way out. And remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy!